James O'Keefe, welcome to The Big Picture. When you wake up in the morning, what, what is it that drives you? Like, what, why did you do this? Why do you do it? Why do you continue to do it? I would say passion. I would say a desire to expose. It's almost like this, this insatiable kind of drive to go get the story. You know, I think a lot of people in politics are, seem to be motivated by power. Like, I want to win, or I want to be something, or make a company. I, I, I just want to go get the story and, and expose it. And when you're driven by that desire to go get the story, nothing will get in the way of you getting the story. You're a threat. Yeah. From what I understand, you start to feel a little bit of heat on you personally. These people view the world, they project all of their evil and prejudice onto you. Evil tends to call good evil. It's not just the name calling. It's not just the mainstream media that, that attacks you. It's that you start to become a threat even to powerful. Well, they tried to entity. put me in jail. I mean, I mean, yes, it doesn't get much worse than being incarcerated. Yeah. And, and these are the sites of things most normal human beings say to hell with this. I'm going to live my life in peace and tranquility and not deal with it. But as Andrew Breitbart once said, if you keep going, you send a message to other people that they can do it too. It's the resilience. It's the, it's the indefatigability that, that defines you. It's not the win. You, anyone can get a win and then give up. It's picking yourself up again and keep going. Everyone is so afraid in this country. In fact, they're walking around like scaredy cats saying, Oh, I can't do what you do because they're going to come after me. But I never, I never thought that. I never focused on the fear. I never focused on the secondary effects of what I was going to do. Like, if I do this, there'll be a series of things that'll happen to me. Because I'd like to believe in the best in people, and I'd like to believe in the best of institutions. Now, you might say I'm naive, but if I wasn't that way, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So my mission is, as much as a journalist, I'm like a motivational speaker trying to get people to stop being so afraid. Like, what are you actually afraid of?